warm up this time of year. <laughs> December warm, December relative warm. Relative warm up. <laughs> Listen, I think for this time of the year, people are going to be very happy. Yeah, no complaints. Well, well, no. Timing. This is the only time of yeah. year where I say the word snow and I don't immediately have to like duck for right. cover, right? <laughs> uh, because we're headed toward Christmas, and that's like the one day where you're like, all right, that, that's fine. I will say for travel plans, which a lot of people are getting mm -hmm. ready to do. I had a friend from Tennessee text me yesterday. Hey, can they not shut down the interstate in Kentucky this year? Yeah. I was like, I mean, it was for everyone's safety last year. Yes. It was crazy. So hopefully, uh, because the warm-up is coming, it's going to be a little less wild. Yeah, we'll have rain in the forecast, but, I mean, across the country, this warm air is going to spread okay. in. So uh, that is going to hopefully mitigate any wintry weather yeah. concerns for travel as we head toward the holiday. It gets way warmer after today, guys. Our temperatures get a big boost into the low 50s. So today, 38 degrees, but by tomorrow we're at 51 and we are trending a good 10 degrees or so above average all the way through Christmas Day. So get through one more chilly one here. We have clear skies and at CBG right now it is 19 degrees with those winds out of the west only seven miles an hour. So they're already starting to back off a little bit. It still feels like 10 though and taking you through the next 12 hours currently breezy, but those winds die down and then you're just left with clear skies and cold air all day. By the time we get to lunchtime, we're above freezing and this afternoon you can plan on temperatures on the top out somewhere in the mid or mid upper 30s. Now, as we take a look at the live radar, you can see everything is quiet here at home and I want to show you that big area of warm air that's going to be taking over as we head toward uh, Christmas and looking ahead toward New Year's Eve. You can see the temperature trend across the region is going to be for temperatures to be warmer than normal. Now, while that brings down our rain our snow chances, it kind of bumps up the rain chances, right? And this is a trend that we're seeing. If you take a look over the last several decades, we're averaging 13 days more above normal temperatures in through December, January and February. So the trend is you're going to see uh, overachieving as far as those temperatures go in through the winter season and that leads to more rain versus snow. Uh, we have no rain chances or, t or snow chances and today, tomorrow, even into Thursday, but by Friday, a few showers and then Saturday, I would anticipate scattered rain. For today, 38 degrees. It's turning sunny, it stays chilly, and that seven day forecast shows for tonight with mostly clear skies, another cool one down to 23, but 51 on Wednesday, 51 on Thursday, 52 on Friday. Not looking bad. Maybe some showers late Friday leading into scattered rain for Saturday. Sunday is Christmas Eve day. I would anticipate fewer rain showers, but it's still a chance. And right now Christmas Day looks pretty wet, but it's day seven of a seven day forecast. Hopefully that changes a little bit, but as of right now, a wet Christmas Day. Thank you, Randy. The snow showers have moved out of our region, but it's still an issue to the north.